okay guys welcome back again i know it has been a while since i posted but your girl is here so today um i am making product i'm making three type of products today i'm making my hair growth oil scalp moisturizer butter and a black soap shampoo so basically guys i'm not here it's just like basically showing you step by step i just want to take you guys behind the scene of me making my hair oil my butters shampoo just wash along because you guys know i like to share so please don't come for me i'm not gonna be showing all the you know ingredient recipe and everything i have a book for that i have all the type of ebooks to help with your business so if you want more information detailed information exact measurement how to write formulas and everything I have ebooks for everything. If you want to know what herbs to use, I have an ebook for that. If you want to know what oils to purchase, I have an ebook for that. I have over six or seven ebooks to help you with your hair care or skincare business. So, yeah, guys, that's why I took the time to write all these ebooks to help you out. So, the video is short, so I can't explain everything in one video, okay, guys? So, don't be coming for me because some people will be like, oh, you don't tell us the recipe. Why would I tell you my recipe and my formula? That's for my business. You don't go to Target. You don't go to McDonald's. You don't want to want all these biz big businesses and ask them for the formula and the recipe. Why would you want to ask me for mine? It's a business that I'm wanting. I just think it's very rude and disrespectful to do that to a business owner. If you have a question, yes, you can ask me. If you need help, yes, you can ask me. But don't think that I'm going to lay everything out on YouTube just for, you know, but okay guys so today i am gonna be making my hair growth oil as you can see there um i already added all my herbs i'll be using different type of herbs um essential oils natural oils so yeah so i already measured my um my herbs that i added now it's time to add the oils i'm adding about six different type of carrier oils three different type of essential oils and i think i'm adding um about six different type of herbs so yeah it's a process guys so just wash along with me and see what's happening And guys, if you want me to do um more videos like this, where I do behind, well, I always you know share videos like this. Anyway, it's not my first time, um, so. So guys, I didn't show you guys this clip, but I do have my scale to the right of me. Um, it wasn't in the camera where I kind of like um measure everything. But um, these containers, I mean, measuring cup, I've been using them so I know how much I have to use. Because I've been doing this for a while, guys. So I know how much of these big, I don't know how you call these, jug or measuring cup. I don't know how you call them. So I know how much of each that I need. So if you see me just pouring it in the white um, big cup and pouring it in here, I've been doing this for a while. So I know how much cup that I need from each oil, okay? So I just wanted to put that out there, so... People don't be coming for me. And if you're new here, always remember to like, comment, and share. And come back for part two because part two, I'm going to be bottling everything once the oil has been infused. Because, you know, I let my oil infuse for a long period of time so I can... um get all the nutrient from all the herbs that i use so i let it sit there for a while The last oil that I added, that's kind of dark. That oil is like, it's neem oil. I only use a little bit of it because that oil smells so bad, guys. It smells terrible, but the benefits are so great. And it's like one of the, it's kind of more expensive than all the other oils that I use. 
Um, as you can see, there's five gallons on the table, which is five different type of oils. And the other oil that I, that I added a little bit of, that was the neem oil that make it six carrier oil. Okay, so I use six carrier oil, two essential oils, and six different type of herbs. Um, I think it was seven or eight. I don't remember actually. <laughs> Okay, so let me phrase it. So I added six different type of dry herbs. Then I added um, five different type of um, powdered herbs. So yes, this oil has about 10 to 11 type of herbs in it. Okay, it's a whole process. You know, all product are natural and with no chemicals, no toxic ingredients. So they are great for healthy hair and healthy scalp. And the thing about my product is... I focus a lot on the scalp and the hair as well because if the scalp is not healthy, how is the hair going to be healthy? You need a clean and healthy scalp in order for you to grow beautiful hair. So, yeah. And as you can see, I'm with my phone, guys. I'm taking content. I always talk about this. When you are doing anything for your business, pull out your phone, record everything, take content, content people like to see behind the scene you making product you packing product you shipping out product they want to see that so as i was recording i took the time to take a lot of content so that i can post on my facebook page my instagram page and my tiktok so people like to see that so me i am the content queen i take content of every single thing so don't bind me when you see me recording and you see me using another phone to like um record as well. It's content, baby.
and we are all done with the oil as you can see i'm done now it's time to let it infuse so now Keep on to the next but this time i thought i recorded when i was portioning out the uh, butters because i use different type of butters for scalping here butter but i guess i lost that footage because that day guys i was recording for like four hours even though, guys, you see this video probably going to be like 30 or 20 something minutes. But I actually recorded for like up to four hours because that's what I'm telling you. Editing takes time. So you got to appreciate your content creators for putting out information for you guys. Because creating content, so it's setting up the environment to make the product, to record. You have to check to see if the lighting is okay, if everything is in frame. And when you're done, you got to spend hours and hours of editing. So... And now this is the scalp and hair butter. I'm going to be making two different batch. This is batch number one. Um, now you can see I have four different type of butters in here. And I'm like melt, making sure everything is melt all the way through before I do anything. And as you can see, I haven't added my essential oils. Because I do add essential oils in my hair and scalp butter. But when you're trying to melt um, your ingredient together, you don't want to add the essential oil because... Um, essential oils are very sensitive to heat because if you heat them up together you're gonna lose all the nutrient that's why i always add the essential oil last okay so there's different um, um steps to making hair or scalp butter or body butter so you just gotta know what you're doing Okay, guys, now I'm about to make the our black soap shampoo. After that, I'll show you guys um, how I finish off the scalp and hair butter. So I'm weighing. This is my scale, guys. I ended up buying a big scale because the scale I had before was too small. If you watch my previous video, you see how I did the inventory haul where I show you guys the scale that I bought from Amazon. I will link it down below. Um, this scale is a bit more expensive than the other one. But it is good because when you're making a lot of product, you need a scale that can that you can weigh. So this is the black soap that I'll be using to make our black soap shampoo. So I thought the camera was um showing you guys um the whole scale, but guys, it wasn't showing so. Okay, guys, I had to go and I grind it. No, I shredded the black soap so it could be easier to melt. As you can see, you have to weigh the water, your glycerin, 
your black soap everything is your guys making product yourself is such a hassle but i like to make it this is now i'm adding um our glycerin so guys even if you see me pouring the the bowl is sitting on a scale so i am weighing the amount um of glycerin that i'm adding every time i'm, I'm done adding uh, an ingredient i put the scale back in, on zero before i add the next one so now the next product that i'm adding is to make um the shampoo produce foam you know how when you're washing your hair and it is like uh, has a lot of foam that last ingredient that I added that's what it does okay and now you gotta use your stick blender which is important to make sure you mix everything well and of course your girl is taking content for tiktok and instagram and facebook so content content always so this is how the black soap is looking like it is not gonna stay this color guys you see now it's looking like a bait it's like a beige color but once everything is done the color will be black like literally it will be black that's so what I'm telling you. Making product is, you know, it's a lot of steps. So it's not going to stay this, this color. I know it may look like it's going to be this color, but no. It's going to be black. That's why it's going to call our stimulating black soap shampoo. Guys, I am kind of rumbling. I'm recording this video at 1 a.m. in the morning and my son is sleeping next to me. So if my voice, voice sounds low, it's because I don't want to wake him up. Now it is that's the butters guy the butter was settling down okay so i had to melt it then let it cool down um in the fridge and then now i'm mixing everything together like i said you guys i haven't added the essential oil this stick blender is amazing i had one before but um but this one yeah so I'm gonna list everything that I use today on the on my Amazon storefront, so you guys can check them out. But I love this little stick blender, guys. It is amazing. It gets things done, and then the butter is going to be so soft and smooth. It's not gonna have any lump at all. So guys, now I'm adding the essential oils. Like I told you before, I add the essential oils last so I can retain all the nutrient. Because, you know, when I'm heating up the oils to melt it, if I add it too soon, I'm going to lose all the nutrient. So you always want to add your essential oil last. Okay, so that's what I'm doing there. And I'm going to, you know, make sure everything is well mixed together. You see how soft this hair butter is? It is going to be so moisturizing and hydrating for your hair. It's good for your scalp in here.
And here, guys, um, I started recording, but my phone ended up dying. So I don't have all the footage of me actually um, putting the butters in the drawers. But I'm going to have part two. So stay tuned for part two. Because as you can see, this is part one. Because I told you guys I was recording for four hours straight. So I can't put everything in one video. So this video is going to be three parts. Okay, this now this is the this one is the part of me making the product. Then I'm gonna do a part of me putting everything in the bottle. Then I'm gonna do another part of me labeling everything. So it's a whole it's three part series that I'm doing because I recorded a lot. I have a lot of footage. So stay tuned for the next um video, guys. And I have over seven ebooks to help you with your business. If you need help creating your own hair butter, hair shampoo, hair oil, conditioner. If you need help creating that, I have an ebook for that. If you need to know what type of herbs and oils to use um, for your product, I have an ebook for that. If you need help growing your social media for your business, I have an ebook for that. Um, if you need to know where to buy packaging, ingredient, everything in bulk so you can save money instead of buying everything little by little. If you want to learn how to buy things in bulk and save money, I have an ebook for that. And if you want to learn how to properly price your product so that you can make a profit, because sometimes you're selling your product, but you're not making profit. So if you want to know how to do that, girl, I'm sorry, I said girl. I have an ebook for that so check the link down below to get all my ebooks and if you have any additional question book a consultation guys so you can speak to me one-on-one -on -one and i'll be able to answer all your questions we'll be on the phone for an hour and i'll be able to help you with setting up um you know with getting your business started guys um so yeah guys um this video is almost over anyways because i lost footage of me you know applying not applying but like filling up the drawers but guy i'm so tired it's literally 1 a.m in the morning and i'm recording but guys follow me on instagram my business page my personal page and um tiktok everywhere and we do have a facebook group a facebook group for people who want to start their own beauty brand whether it's hair care or skincare so the link will be down below you can be a member on our facebook group guys i want to be more active on there you can ask me questions on my facebook group guys it's easier for me to respond on our facebook group so send us send us a request so you can be um part of our facebook group guys so that's pretty much it guys i am done for the day um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and let us know, like, let me know what type of other videos that you'd like to see, and I was trying to see if I can film them for you guys, because I actually enjoy YouTube, guys, I enjoy filming videos, it's just a matter of me having the time to edit, because, you know, editing takes a lot of time, guys, it is not easy to be a content creator, so be patient, guys, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.